getting ready to do chores tonight and uh I had a fellow who's really wanting to know how to make spangled chickens or pintos as he calls them uh he wanted me to call him about it but my spanish isn't real good so what i decided to do is to make a video and then i will write down what i say throw it into google translate and put it into the description of the video we'll see that and if that seems to be something that folks like i'll try to do that more often now spangle is a modifier gene okay so all of these spangled birds are based off of the wheaton pattern this is a spangled hen on wheaton base wheaton itself is a modified variant of the wild original pattern of the red jungle fowl from which pretty much all domestic chickens are descended now, to get an idea of what wheat looks like, the closest thing I have right now is this hen. All right, that's Wheaton. And this little rooster over here, this little stag. He's probably not gonna hold still for me, but it's the yellow leg stag with the black breast. He's right there. That is what Wheaton looks like in its normal form. Now what happens is in order to get a spangle, you have to get the proper gene. And there is a gene called spangle, but it is not the same gene that causes spangle in game chickens. Spangle in game chickens is caused by a recessive gene that is called mottled. And what mottled does in its proper form is it puts a white tip on the end of every feather and then separates that white tip from the colored area of the feather with a black bar now obviously that isn't what most of these game chickens look like and the best answer i can have to explain that is nobody's really researched it so i can't tell you why it looks different it could be a mutation within the gene or it could be that that gene acts differently on Wheaton than it does on other color patterns, such as BB Red or Brown Red. Because it is a modifier gene and it is recessive, that means that in order for it to be visible, the bird has to get a copy of the gene from both parents so in order to make a line of pintos or spangles you need at least one bird that at the very least carries one copy of the gene ideally to save yourself time you would want to start off with at least one spangled bird because all of the offspring from a spangle crossed to a regular Wheaton colored bird and even if you're crossing a spangled Wheaton onto a BB red they will come out the regular color pattern so if you're crossing spangled Wheaton to a regular Wheaton, the offspring will come out looking like regular Wheatons. Sometimes they will show colored feathers on the backs of their heads that will give you a hint that 
they're carrying the spangling gene, but that is not always the case. And just to remind you, this hen in front of me is a Wheaton. So, if you cross a spangled bird to a red, all of the offspring will come out red. But they will all carry the gene for spangle. At this point, you have a few options. You can cross back to the spangle, which is the faster way to go, and will increase your chances of getting birds that you like. If you like that spangled bloodline, you're going to get more of the spangled bloodline's characteristics along with the color. But, if for some reason you lose the spangled bird, you can cross the birds from the first generation, which are all half spangled. And as a result, you will get birds from that cross that do come out spangled. Now once you've got them coming out spangled, all you have to do is keep breeding the spangleds together and you will continue to get more spangleds. But you also have the option of continuing to breed reds into the group and you will continue to get reds and spangleds. Here in a minute, I'll draw it out for you, as soon as I'm done giving everybody their supper. Just like to point out, just because these roosters can't tolerate another rooster does not mean they can't tolerate any living thing. These roosters don't have a problem with me. They don't have a problem with the rabbits. They don't have a problem with the ducks. They just can't stand another rooster. So, now that everybody's chowing down, I can draw this out for you. So, the black dots are going to represent a spangle. And because you have to have two copies, I'm going to do two dots. Now we're going to cross that to a red. Now all of the offspring are going to look red but they're going to carry spangle. And it does not matter if you use a spangled rooster to a red hen or a red rooster to a spangled hen. It'll be the same thing. So then you can either breed back to the spangle and you will get and you will get spangled you will get reds that are carrying spangled. Okay? Or you can breed the carrier to the carrier and you will get spangled, spangled carriers and pure reds. And these reds will never produce a spangle, but you won't know if it's a pure red or a cross, or sorry, a pure red or a carrier, unless you test mate back to a spangle. All right? Now, once you get to where you've got two spangles,
all you will ever get is spangles. Okay? So I hope that helps. Like I said, I'm going to translate this and get it into the comments. So check the comments for the Spanish version. Thanks for watching. And if you need clarification, just comment. Thank you.